Hello everyone, in this video, prepare to receive powerful prophetic declarations from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Be blessed by this message and feel free to like, share and subscribe. God bless you as you watch this video production. There are many of you, you are gifted but you are with the wrong audience. You have not yet gotten to envi the environment that has the discernment to honor you. Joseph interpreted three people's dreams. He interpreted the dream of the wine presser. He remained in prison. They didn't have the wherewithal to help him. He interpreted the dream of the baker. He remained there. But when the king dreamt, the same gift though, the gift did not improve. It was only the audience that changed. There are some of you, you have been interpreting dreams well done, but you have exhausted that training. It's time for God to announce you. And God does not necessarily need to upgrade the gift. He just needs to bring the people who have capacity to discern what you carry and reward you. And I pray for you already. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace that lifts, may the grace that announces, let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Let it rest upon you now. Gracious dear friends, through the word of God, we have come to know not only the nature and attribute of our creator, but his magnificent plan for us. In the midst of our busy and fast-paced life, it becomes essential to nourish our souls and cultivate a vibrant spiritual life. Today, as we prepare to listen to this message that awaits you, the blessings of God are upon you. May you receive the wisdom to discern and understand beyond the spoken word. Kindly engage with us through the comment section below, sharing your thoughts and reflection. We encourage you to support our work by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated for all our next messages. In your new year, welcome to our channel. We are glad you joined us. Thanks for subscribing. May the grace of God be with you, guiding your part and illuminating your heart. Amen. Listen, announcement is a spiritual thing. Media can only help. Believe me, if that grace has not rested, you will shout around and nobody will hear you. He said, he that has an ear, let him hear. That means not everybody has that kind of ear. You can be shouting and say, I am here. I studied this. I can do this. But the realm of the spirit says, we cannot hear you. And that is where the control room is. I have a great ministry. I can heal. Listen to me. I have a, I can, my family is a great family. But the realm of the spirit is not hearing. There is a hear ye him anointing. A grace that rests upon you. And even the deaf will know you are there. Can I speak it over someone? In the name of Jesus. Whatever has silenced your influence. So that your voice will not be heard. I call upon the God of my covenant. May you be heard from today. May you be heard from today. Let the ends of the earth hear you. Let the ends of the earth hear you. my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard john said i am the voice of one crying he was heard when jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you i say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice i came by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of jesus that silence comes to an end Hallelujah. Gifted, but nobody's seen you. Genuinely called, but it looks like you are just going around rigmaroling. 
grand table like a scopata shut up a katakatos skate pakata rekete bekete balas sopas granta pakatos embrekete berekos katiataka leskaba shamas kabedesh embrata bareka barias kapa can i tell you this believe me when that grace is on you it doesn't matter even if you are in a hole the nations will look for you there it is true oh rest on me oh rest on me oh rest on me the Holy Ghost power rest on me let your power Holy Ghost power rest on me rest on me let your power Holy Ghost power rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Now hear me please. There are some serious prayers that we want to pray now. And whilst we pray, I'm already seeing visions of fire. When the Holy Spirit reveals himself as fire, he does not just come as a refiner. He also comes to burn everything. Everything in life is heat dependent. There is no material known to man that can survive certain levels of heat. Hallelujah. Psalm 3 and verse 1. 3 and verse 1. Give my people the mic so that we'll pray. 3 and verse 1. It says, O oh Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Psalm 71 and verse 21. We're praying. Someone's destiny is about to change. Read with me. One to read. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Are you ready to pray? Shout this from the depth of your heart. Father, Father for your glory, for your glory, increase my greatness. Go ahead and pray. Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. Someone pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Tired of where you are, pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Sapakata barakatos, rateka barakatas, rata bata kapas kata branda katesh, rates kata barakata barakos. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray.
Increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. My God, something is happening to your spirit, man. I tell you, there is an elevation in the spirit. An elevation. I'm seeing a ladder. This is what I'm seeing. An elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing. Changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore, restore, everything that was lost, restore, everything that was stolen, restore. Joel chapter 2 some of you have lost all kinds of things everything to be lost has left you you have lost opportunities you have lost relationships you have lost joy you have lost strategic resources it's time to have it back Joel 2 25 and I will restore to you the years and I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years. If God cannot restore time, then he is not greater than time. If it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Shabaka parakatos yata. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die. Not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace. Who has called you to his eternal glory. He says after that ye have suffered a while. What does he do? Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect. Establish you. Strengthen you. And then settle you. Say Father. Father I, decree, I decree. I declare. I declare divine, restoration divine restoration. Of opportunities. Of, opportunities, of relationships. Of, relationships, of resources. Of of men, of, men. Of, my joy, of my joy 
Now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Parisabalagadash. Rampatalagabarakatos. Rakatas Kotobros. Abrakatabalakata Fraskatabalaka. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros, Rakata Praskata Vaskabach, Ratakata Praskata Palakos, Rakata Prantakabach, Abrakatos Koto Prekatele. Cry restoration, cry restoration, cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. It's one thing for God to speak. But it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent. But it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins. God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, And the Lord visited Sarah, as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day you see the way god talks and the way he behaves he expects his word to have come speedily whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation jesus looked at the man in john chapter 5 and said why are you still in this condition and he said i have no man and it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years. Another had hemorrhage for 12 years. Why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren trusting God. The man at the gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray. 
because there are some of you you can't wait again till December no the Bible said this is the day not this is the week not this is the month there are days there are weeks there are months there are years whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality if your faith is for years save Johnny if your faith is for months save Johnny he said give us this day give us when one more time so God can give men this day there are times they will say after five months on the sixth month of the seventh year the word of the Lord came but Jesus himself said when you pray remind the father that is within his power to give you this day give me this this day give me liftings this day open a door for me this day are you ready to pray Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45 give us amplified we're still praying don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he said I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer I know him my God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. John Joshua 21 45. Read with me. Ready? One to read. There failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel. All came to pass. How many? How many? Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word I declare someone pray I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My God, I'm tempted to give you the next one. Just endure. Let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. 
Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Herein is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah. Ordained you to go and bear fruit. 15, 16. And that your fruit should remain. Let me tell you the truth. Do not downplay results in this life. I know that you are here because you love Jesus, but you are also here because you have seen results. Results at the end of any and every argument. You can argue all you can, but not in the presence of results. Hallelujah. What is the prayer? Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Did you hear what I said? Give evidence. I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father. In this season. In this season. Evidence, give evidence to my Christian experience, to my Christian experience. Results. results genuine results, genuine results. Open, your open your mouth and pray bring me into a realm of authentic results give evidence give evidence are you praying all the overflows pray evidence to my serving you give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my live my living for you sabras kabarakatos krataka parakata fraska balakatos tonight in my spirit because someone I, by the privilege of God's grace sir I've had the honor of taking care of a lot of families I have seen 25 year old widows with 4-5 children how long did the man live before dying absolutely nothing and they leave those people 25, 28, 4-5 children hallelujah how about your destiny helpers forgetting you? You watch them on TV making pledges to people, and yet you say, Uncle, just to remind you that I'm still here. I say, Okay, you, I will remember. Immediately, once it is your own, they forget. Are you ready for the book of remembrance to be open? Just when. They are dropping your CV on a man's table. Someone will come and use your CV to wrap food with it. 
they are considering yours they say please pass me a piece of paper and it's your cd they carry and wrap food with it and you sit down and you are shouting thinking your cv is in the office whereas it's in the bin somewhere he said the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he said lest he dips his hand in iniquity i've seen people who love god they are not lazy but they live their lives begging. They never get to a point where they can live a decent life. No. They beg. Their wives join them begging. Their children join them begging. Their grandchildren join them begging. Their entire lineage lives by begging. Shout no way. No way. One more time. Shout no way. No way. Whatever you permit, whatever you tolerate remains in your life. I'm saying this because everything that is not of God, it must let you go. Now, there are, there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain, but the children die leaving the parents. You see a family full of old people with no young man to help them. He said, I write these things to you fathers. I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders, there must be young men, there must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well when he kills the children you will now see the spirit that was in pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of god's people let some go and let some stay and moses said you are joking all of us our wives our children in this place tonight there are elders in this place tonight there are young men in this place tonight there are children in fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly, I'm about to minister the deliverance power of Jesus. Please be silent, everybody. If you're sitting, stand. If you're sitting, stand. Prophetic instructions are powerful because contained within them, as foolish as they may sound, is the power of God. I want you to please stand. Ushers, I want you to start bringing out the people who the power of God rests upon I'm ministering deliverance now. What is deliverance? Separating you from the spirits that plague you. Separating you from the conditions also. Not just spirits. Usually I will ask you to shout and you will shout. But God is telling me, be still and know. This is why I said just stand and keep quiet. Bring them out. You see, the way God walks is very mysterious sometimes may not make sense yes there are individuals and families right now is the fire of the spirit fishing out families whose destinies have been tied down yokes curses altars please bring them out no you will not be able to stand it you don't know what grace you are under please bring them as quick as you can all the overflows outside hmm. these things happen so that you will fear God in a way that God is not a man if God can say a thing like this and do it then you will believe every prophetic word he brings on you 
please help the ushers if they are limited anyone close to them let's just save time there's a reason why i ask that you bring the people out you're not shouting you're not doing anything you've done the prayer now i'm praying for you mm. yokes altars i'm seeing fire like like smoke rising rising from things that look like stones The Lord is showing me a dark shadow, shadow that has rested on families, some for decades. And the Lord is saying, this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families. And the Lord is lifting it right now. He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. <laughs> lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay. The spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. Bring them out. Da ka so ni ka. Abane afi ko dia e zaka. Abane afi ko dia shine zamba. Ta ra 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 ra. Hallelujah. I want to pray very quickly. You are still bringing a few more people out now. I'm seeing something tied around the stomachs of people. And I'm wondering what is this is. What, what the meaning of this is. And the spirit of God is telling me that this is enchantment. This is witchcraft. Over many. It came through dreams. And it has tied down many. This thing started from your dream. And then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead by the power that raised Christ from the dead now hear me every family under any cause cause of untimely death cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough now you are going to shout Jesus with that one loud shout those altars must give way now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be released be released be released. Be released. Your family. Be released. Your business. Be released. Your destiny. Be released. Everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. What has buried the name of your family? The statement, Ichabod, 
that it cannot even be heard again. A family that was once great, known for greatness, but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny. I'm talking to three people by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, I declare, may that fail. May that fail be torn right now over your family. May that fail be torn right now over your family. May that fail be torn right now. Every month, you must treat sickness, mysterious sicknesses, eating up your finances, eating up your energy, your vitality. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now. Cancelled now. The Lord is showing me a woman. You've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa. I don't know if there's such a person. I've prayed for a number of people with those cases, but the Lord is speaking to me about one. You've not been able to go and meet your husband. You are legally married, but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again, and this has caused a lot of tension in your home. Wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name that is above all names, we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living God that this time around, may favor speak for you. May favor speak for you. May favor speak for you. I'm seeing someone here, your brother currently has been kidnapped. Your brother, you are aware he's been kidnapped. You are trusting God for his release. I don't know if that person is in this place, else I'm going to speak. Your brother, this is what God shows me in a vision, is part of those that were kidnapped until now. He's not been released. In the name of Jesus, I use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men, by the power that raised Christ from the dead this week, not next week, this week. In the name that is above all names, we declare their release now. We declare their release now. We declare their release now. For everyone who is in front here brought by the Spirit of God, I decree and declare every spirit that has held you down, God brought you by himself. Right now be released. Right now be released. I decree and declare that as you rise, you step into a range, a, a level of strange testimonies. Strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Return back to your seat rejoicing. How many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs? Just lift your hands and put it down. Let me see. If you don't believe, keep your hand down. You are trusting God that God between now and March that God can open a stranger. Let me see your hands. I want to pray for you. The prophetic is very powerful. And that includes those from several nations. You've heard testimonies. You can stand for your brother. You can stand for your son. You can stand for your daughter. You can stand for your spouse. I decree and declare. I don't know who is trusting God for a job. For you, for your family. Or a change of job. Because some of you, what you are doing is not really a job. Anything that steals your spiritual life destroys your health, causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God. Therefore I decree between now and the next one month in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west the north to the south, Nigeria and beyond, may God give you a strange testimony. May my God give you a strange testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. The overflow outside. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm praying for everybody. Everybody can tap. But I just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. Outside. Media, if you can help me. Let me speak over the overflow outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I don't know why God is asking me to speak Perhaps it is to connect with you, to let you know 
that distance is no barrier and it doesn't matter up basement all the other overflows you can connect by faith but i'm speaking particularly to those outside lift your hands those outside i want to pray for you and i want you to believe by the faith of the son of the living god that what god would do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination father in the name that is above all names i pray for my people outside lift your hands and believe this is not entertainment believe believe the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established he said believe in his prophets so shall you prosper i pray for you everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks whatever it is by all godly means i declare may it happen for you everything that will make you celebrate ah sarah said all who hear this will rejoice with me i pray for you in the name of jesus between now and the next two weeks those outside but it applies to everybody whatever god must do to make you laugh i declare may it happen speedily speedily if it's a job may it happen speedily if it's your visa may it happen speedily if it's your house may it happen speedily the bible says despise not prophesyings despise not prophesying still keep them i'm speaking to them i'm speaking to them why god is putting it in my heart to speak to them i'm speaking to those outside sometimes god moves like this to comfort us to help us see and know that distance is no barrier media are you helping me in the name that is above all names the oil of favor the oil of favor that can come upon a man's head that can come upon a man's hand that can come upon his feet and rewrite his story i stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of jesus listen i tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to god i know what favor is i know how it works I have seen what the favor of God can do. This ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man. It is such as I have in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling, moving from pillar to post and things are not working. In ministry, in finances, I pray for you. Receive the oil of favor. <laughs> Receive the oil of favor. 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 Everyone shout this after me. Say, Father, every curse, every enchantment every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now open your mouth in one minute and pray every enchantment every curse orchestrated against my life against my advancement against my health against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken you may not take testimonies tonight but lay your hands i want to pray for you the stage is always yours every week you can register for your testimonies those online everyone please lay your hands you're standing in for someone in the next one minute i want to pray father in the name of jesus the son of the living god the one who died and resurrected in power and glory thank you for the power to heal 
the power to bring life even to the sick. You gave us this noble instruction to heal the sick while we preach the kingdom. And Lord, in honor and obedience to that call, I stretch my hands right now over your people spread across this auditorium and its environs outside the many who are following online and the many who will hear this i'm praying in the name of jesus that every spirit that is responsible for infirmity every spirit responsible for sickness diseases of any and all kinds by the power that raised christ from the dead i cause the operation of those spirits from your body this moment in the name of jesus right now i stretch my hands be healed shout a believing amen. amen headaches be healed right now amen. eye conditions be healed right now amen. heart conditions be healed right now amen. blood conditions be healed right now amen. bone conditions be healed right now amen. organ failures let there be a brand new a reproduction of new organs in the name of Jesus respiratory problems be healed now tumors and cancers be cursed now fibroids we curse you now gastrointestinal problems be healed now reproductory problems be healed now urinary problems be healed now respiratory problems be healed now digestive problems be healed now neurological problems be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ back pain be healed lumbar spondylosis be healed joint pains be healed we change genotypes right now from SS to AA from AS to AA in the name of Jesus Christ ear conditions be healed now every prolonged pain in your body be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not anyone appointed to death by sickness those following from hospitals clinics everywhere be healed right now I stretch my hands and I declare let the healing power of Jesus from this ground through the airwaves let it flow to you right now I speak to someone you shall not die your health will not deteriorate it is cancer that will die it is HIV that will die it is tuberculosis that will die it is pile that will die in the name of Jesus every mental health situation right here in Nigeria across Europe America Canada Asia be healed right now autism be healed right now if you are here you came with a wheelchair you came with a crutch or some walking aid for your feet your hands I declare be healed right now for every and any infirmity here at this miracle service we pronounce you healed we pronounce you whole we pronounce you perfected in the name of Jesus you will search for that pain and not find it again you will search for that infirmity and not find it again I declare restoration to your health hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to lift your hands as I speak over you prophecy is the final or the second to the last atmosphere that is created for reception father I decree and declare over your people shame and reproach from this day comes to an end forever comes to an end forever I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are whether they are in Abuja in Lagos in the north the south east west Europe America far west wherever they are 
between now and the end of the month the month is not ended yet i gravitate them towards your destiny every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted it has refused to change i release my faith with you and i declare this is the season of change for you in the name of jesus christ may the lord give you a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song for someone God will take away sleep from your helpers like Ahasuerus and make them open the book of remembrance towards you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus whoever must come into your life for your rising wherever they are may they come speedily everywhere your job is may God locate you and take you there everywhere your finance is for this season can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of Jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now I give you one month by prophecy may the God of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of God the testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting 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 what you have been looking for I command it to start looking for you ah, 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 hear this one what you have been looking for may it start looking for you in the name of Jesus Christ every confusion in your life may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now everyone who is discouraged and downcast you are wondering what will become of your life I want to speak to you in the name of Jesus you will have the last laugh in this life anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death I declare may death pass over you may death pass over you you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country you are blessed in Abuja blessed in Lagos blessed in America blessed in UK all over Europe all over Africa return as a sign and a wonder return as a testament of God's favor in the name of Jesus let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds giving standing with us i just felt stirred in my heart to do that people give the things that you see us do it is based on the givings the faithful givings of god's people and i just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given not just here in nigeria but across the globe uk america canada people have given for our meetings coming people have given even in the house people have sown into my life as a man of god i stretch my hands god is not a fraudster god is not a scammer he doesn't play games with people in the name that is above all names you have sown to this ground it is good ground therefore receive a hundredfold harvest therefore receive a hundredfold harvest a harvest of prosperity a harvest of wisdom a harvest of helpers a harvest of joy a harvest of help in the name of Jesus may you never do anything alone in your life God will raise people to stand with you 
to stand by you, to stand for you in the name of Jesus. Quarter to shame, may God raise helpers for you. Now, let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life, attacking your word study life, attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things, it dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance. Progress in destiny. And I pray for you. The kind of honor and favor you have never seen. This week, may God bring this as a witness to your life. Wave your hands to Jesus. And give him all the praise. Wave your hands to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I'm going to count three. And when I count three, those inside, outside, those following online, you are going to shout the name Jesus. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name, an office that is above every other name. It says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Is that in your Bible? Of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. That includes things in your office. That includes things in your house. That includes negative things in your body. It says they will bow. At the count of three, I want you to shout. You are not holding a trumpet, but your mouth will be that shout. And as you shout, hear me please. The power of God is going to come on several people. There will be a massive deliverance in this place. Deliverance means that you are being separated from that which impedes your progress. It can be a spirit. It can be a condition. Are we together? At the count of three, I want you to shout. Let that sound get into the realm of the spirit. And in the name of Jesus, there will be massive deliverance. Father, we thank you that you honor your word. This is the feast of fat things, even with the spirit. At the count of three, every burden, every yoke, every power, every altar that has tied down destinies and will not let you rise. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, your liberty comes right now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be released now. Please bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, yokes break now. Yokes break now. Yokes break now. Yokes break now. Shake it back at Tokate, let it back at her. Ah, an end comes to negative patterns, negative cycles, negative patterns, negative cycles in the name of Jesus. Please, if you can bring them out very quickly, I want to pray for them. My God, negative patterns are breaking negative circles are breaking whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you please help to bring them out so that we can just redeem the time i'm still praying 
Again, I'm praying negative patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your siblings. Now it's coming upon you. Let that fire from heaven. Please bring them out. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare an end to that oppression now. An end to that oppression now. I hope you are not silent. You should be praying, declaring by the Spirit that an end comes to any and every captivity in my life by the power of the blood. By the power of the blood. This is a miracle service. By the power of the blood, the sound of mourning, the sound of languishing must come to an end in the name of Jesus. Another kind of sound, the Bible says, the sound of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. we're still praying every spirit that will not let you go tying down your destiny programming climates of disfavor right now in the name of jesus my god the power of god is coming on people right now i decree and i declare that spirit lets you go now that spirit lets you go now no matter how long you have been under that influence by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare your deliverance right now i declare your deliverance right now i declare your deliverance right now someone shout a loud amen i declare your deliverance right now hallelujah now the lord is showing me the faces of people and oftentimes i see this as i'm ministering to people i will see a whole human being in the realm of the spirit but not see the face the glory of a man is upon his face please hear me carefully and when the glory of a man is covered no matter what you are doing it cannot find expression i want to pray for a few people i don't know what has failed your glory the count of three may that veil be torn and shredded to pieces right now one two three be delivered right now 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 everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you prophesy everything that was lost everything that was stolen one more time prophesy to your destiny everything that was lost shall be returned unto me hallelujah there is there are two people i'm seeing here the lord is revealing to me let me just walk as the spirit of god is revealing to me there is a strong anointing for the evangelistic that is coming upon you this has been a passion in your heart right from when you were you were young and the power of god is coming upon you because the season your season of training is coming to an end and the lord is about to release you it's a strong anointing you know that many evangelists are transiting they are joining the cloud of witnesses already and the lord is working on a new breed of people that he's bringing i i saw two people i I'm, I'm sure that there may be so many connected but i'm praying right now lord i don't know where those two people are in the realm of the spirit it can be male or female the first person to announce the resurrected christ was a woman i decree and declare may that man to rest upon someone right now May that mantle rest upon someone right now. 
may that mantle rest upon someone right now may that mantle rest upon someone right now now please listen to me the end time army please listen the end time army madam the anointing of the spirit is coming on you that woman on green i just saw light coming on her and the lord is saying he's bringing a season again i don't know why god is ending seasons and opening others a word can come for someone but you can receive by faith also in the name of jesus let every negative season come to an end now please hear me please hear me in this end time as we prepare for the return of christ god's army the formation of god's army is threefold there is a tripartite formation of god's army that means the army will largely be the distribution of the army will be threefold number one the first dimension of the structure of this army would be the ministry of prophetic intercessors this is what will happen in the end time as i'm mentioning the cases those who are part of it this grace will begin to come upon you prophetic intercessors there are people who will rise men who understand the art of the altar please bring them out in the name of jesus this is the first formation of this end time army ordinary people who will access power with god they will pray the gospel over nations they will pray the gospel over territories young and old alike by the influence of the spirit and anyone here under the sound of my voice who has been anointed and is being recruited by the spirit to operate as a prophetic intercessor after the order of Anna after the order of Elijah may that mantle wherever you are in whether you are in ministry or not in the name of Jesus may that mantle fall upon you right now the grace to travel with prayer and fasting until revival breaks out across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ I have set watchmen upon your wall he says that they will give him no rest day and night until I establish Jerusalem again I'm declaring by the Spirit may that man to fall right now let it fall on men and women young and old number two the second category of this prophetic formation of the end time army listen to me are those who are sent apostolically into the seven mountains these are the ones that the bible calls sheep among wolves the jurisdiction of their function is in the cosmos itself hallelujah now hear me the secret of excelling as a sheep among wolves is the spirit of wisdom not just the wisdom of heaven even the wisdom of egypt you must understand the wisdom of egypt are we together yes moses himself with the mandate of the deliverer was sent to learn the wisdom of he said be wise as a serpent he's not just talking of a snake the serpent is the symbol of egypt that is the place where wealth resides that is the place where influence resides so there are people right now this night the impartation that is coming upon you it will not just make you a preacher on the altar it will make you a business executive and administrator at the highest level you are still part of the army it's not just preachers alone i decree and declare champions with the spirit of excellence like daniel may that mantle at the count of three as you shout jesus the spirit of wisdom is resting upon you are you ready now one my god two three shout jesus take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now grace to master the wisdom of egypt until you excel grace to dominate the cosmos by the excellency of the spirit
formation number one prophetic intercessors formation number two those that are sent into the cosmos to protect to preserve and to institutionalize the interest of the kingdom formation number three are kingdom financiers please hear me i'm speaking to you by the spirit you cannot be part of this army if you do not understand the prophetic formation you must belong to one or more or all these categories to be useful in this end time while i sat at the rotunda i heard the dear missionary as he was talking and he made a statement that there are missionaries who are leaving the mission field you know why because when you study the life of cain and abel pastor shola abel understood priesthood he knew how to offer sacrifices but he did not understand dominion within the cosmos cain did not understand priesthood he sacrificed did not get to heaven but the first person to build a city was cain and until that time every time you see the sons of the kingdom they understand priesthood sacrifices to heaven but the wisdom of accessing cosmos and protecting and preserving the interests of the kingdom they are not taught because we think the only thing we are are priests the bible says we are kings and priests are we together when you read genesis chapter 12 you know where abraham got his wealth as soon as he spoke with god he had an altar with god but he had to go to egypt remember he went to egypt and abimelech liked his wife and god judged. he gave him gifts and he left with lot he returned back to the place of the altar but the wealth was not gotten at the altar it was gotten in egypt so he says it this way prophet haggai he says go up the mountain he says bring wood and build my house that i will take glory in it ladies and gentlemen you are intelligent you don't get wood from a mountain you get wood from the forest so this mountain he's talking about is not just your physical mountain satan took jesus into an exceeding high mountain and from that altitude he saw the glories of the whole world is that true and he said bow to me and i will give to you these are people who will command wealth and influence at a territorial level but now with a kingdom mindset the goal is not just buying cars and houses the goal is seeing to it that kingdom come as a project does not fail under their watch and let me tell you it will take more than buying and selling to access that level of wealth that kind of wealth is not an achievement you are trusted with it from the father of spirits i'm about to pray for men i have seen this many times in my visions and it's consistent with scripture when you talk about the mantle for wealth it's not just bragging and saying i'm a millionaire for the sake of self-aggrandizement uh -uh. you've heard me say the name of jesus is heavy it will take resources to lift it up for the nations to see him there are men and women here this mantle is about to rest on you this one is not just business savvy this is some of you by reason of this mantle you will inherit prepared blessings and the purpose listen when pharaoh is compelled to give you resources it is because the temple will be built in the wilderness nehemiah if the king gives you resources as a cup bearer you suddenly become a millionaire overnight do not forget that the walls of jerusalem is waiting to be rebuilt through your resources for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return Ali Ali yo Ali yo Ali yo Ali Ali yo Father I'm praying now my God this mantle is going to come on people some of you it will surprise you the level of wealth I want you to believe what I'm telling you father i pray right now here at household of david there are men and women that must access the end time wealth not for self-aggrandizement 
but for the purposes of the kingdom let that mantle access to the hearts and the treasuries of the nations access to the increase of the earth at the count of three i don't know where you are you may even be a man of god and your ministry is as a point where you need wealth more than the purity of heart it will take resources to move beyond that level i declare may that grace come upon you now get ready now one two three take that grace take that grace business people take that grace in addition to the value that you provide captains of industry take that grace mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth in the name of jesus christ by this time tomorrow order of wealth by this time tomorrow order of wealth in the name of jesus christ the king's business requires haste and in this miracle service there are many people who are supposed to be doing kingdom activities at a national level but they are still struggling with school fees of children it's a distraction because the unit of destiny is time my friend this man come are you a man of god where can i pray for you father help this gentleman because i see god doing a very very mighty work with you do ministry with integrity and may god help you to be mighty receive this grace in the name of jesus christ i shift you to a new level even by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ please hear me can i tell you when it when we come we talk about issue of money most people like it but the reason is not kingdom the reason is that they are obsessed full of themselves wanting to prove a point god is not ready for all those kinds of things in this end time believe me when i tell you this there are certain doors that the wisdom of men cannot open it will take the father of spirits opening that door and ushering you into it that's why you will see ordinary people who should not be at certain levels but you will know it's god that brought them there By reason of this impartation somebody's eyes is going to be opened to see things that others are not seeing to access the riches and the treasures of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll there was a sound even in heaven and the elder said no stop that sound that's not the sound that we should be hearing in heaven the lamb has already cried that cry the lamb cannot cry and you cry again he says weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david has prevailed he is worthy to open the book and unlock the seven seals the lord wants to turn your mourning to dancing i hope you know that most two of them are sounds too and to turn your sorrow to joy there is a sound of sorrow and there is a sound of joy they are both sounds but one is an unpleasant sound it's a sound that connotes defeat it's a sound that is an indictment on the integrity of god it says he that told you have asked for nothing ask that you will receive to the end that your joy may be full i'm going to pray for the sick shortly and will celebrate testimonies here do you know one of the ministries the Lord revealed to me and this is also true based on the Word of God as we prepare again to receive Jesus Christ the healing ministry in a dimension we have never seen will be restored to the body of Christ I know that we see healings here and there but I'm talking about the kind of healing that can shut down a system to say is this true notable miracles when the man at gate beautiful was healed they had to summon the apostles say no 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 that was not the first person they healed in their ministry but that miracle was too notable 
Are we together? When presidents of nations, heads of government, that the whole world knows about their predicament, when they are healed overnight, that one is no longer a healing. It's a statement from his majesty. I am still alive. I am God all by myself. Believe me, the healing ministry, that mantle is still searching for faithful men. Faithful men. It would take more than being a prayer warrior to access genuine healing ministry. It would take more than being a fasting giant. There is a level of death to the flesh. Even historically, most people who carry the healing anointing did not live long. There is a level, a depth of consecration that a man must attain unto to carry and sustain the healing power of God. Listen to the various prophetic statements that are coming in the course of this service so that you will hear the one that is your own. Hallelujah. Historically, most healing ministers don't seem to live long. I have studied it for many years to find out why is that so. Elisha died of sickness and yet the healing anointing was still in his bones. A dead man to be sick and to be dead, which one is worse? And the person who was sick carrying the power of life, he still died. And a dead body touched his bones and jacked back to life. Are we together? Every human being is given one body per lifetime. Nobody is given two bodies in one lifetime. You are given by God the gift of one body per lifetime. That means when Satan wants to terminate your, the legitimacy of your function in the earth, what he does is to create a platform that brings a premature separation between your body and your spirit. You call it death. Are we together? And now that we've gotten to the point that we have built a pattern around what we call ember months. September, October, November, December. It seems like there is an onslaught of spirits. Once people get to these months, they begin to live in fear. They don't have the liberty to move around. Why? Because they feel that there seems to be a climate that is programming negative things. Please take it higher for me. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. Very powerful song. The same power that conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. We'll sing it one more time and I'll begin to pray for the sick. Same power. That conquered the grave lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, stay. That rescued the earth lives in me, Listen, why do we pray for the sick? We are not praying for the sick. Listen, healing. Is more than just the corrective ability of the anointing on a human body there is a goal and an intent to healing are we together when God restores the health and the vitality in the body of an individual is his commitment to see you remain long enough so that the gift of your body that is the official host to your spirit will remain while you serve the purposes of God the healing ministry is more than a man just displaying power. The healing ministry is more than pain just disappearing. 
or someone on a wheelchair or crutch just standing up is more than that the healing ministry is a statement because this body has to be prepared and there is a level of deterioration a threshold level of deterioration that your body must not go under if it goes below it the spirit can no longer remain there and it will have to leave are we together many of you are here with medical reports every sickness in your body is death knocking at the door of your destiny it is true when jesus heals you have to understand the intent behind it like he's about to do right now oh i believe in the healing power of jesus i truly believe with all my heart not only because i have read it in the bible not only because i am a witness of the healing the resurrection power of jesus in my own life we're about to produce a sound of joy that comes as a result of the healing power of jesus listen you don't have to walk away with any infirmity in this place tonight you can believe and receive even by the power of the holy spirit that jericho of sickness most of us our resources and sometimes limited resources have been spent you know the woman with the issue of blood her remaining in that place was not her choice the bible says she spent all her earning that means the spirit of poverty rode on the back of sickness and dried that woman's finances please lay your hands right now i want to pray for the sick I believe in the healing power of Jesus when Jesus died and rose again ladies and gentlemen it was not a parable this same Jesus whom we preach the one who has been exalted today as Lord and Christ is a healing Jesus believe me when I tell you that he heals the kind of healing that now becomes verified scientifically are we together you are sick in your body or you are standing for a loved one now is the time to be healed the gentlemen here thank you for coming I'm going to speak over your lives right now in the name of Jesus my friend shout Jesus as loud as you can in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare everything in your blood that needs to be cleansed i declare cleansing right now and i release that anointing upon you in the mighty name of jesus and for everyone here i decree and declare let it be a new season for you in the name of jesus christ let it be a new season for you now here's what will happen i'm going to pray for you and the moment i pray for you the power of god is going to come upon you the anointing of the spirit can correct that means you should not be surprised that a condition that you know a growth a tumor eyes that cannot see or cannot see clearly ears that could not hear or could not hear clearly maybe you are in a crutch or wheelchair whatever it is i want you to know and to believe that jesus heals a miracle is a supernatural occurrence just like you do not know the way of the womb the, the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with child so also you do not know the ways of God there is a there is a dimension of God's the dynamics of healing that cannot be explained hallelujah and so as I pray for you right now I want you to receive and the moment the power of God touches you I'm going to ask you to check yourself the moment you see that the healing power of Jesus has touched you I am going to request very quickly I know that there'll be several people inside and outside for those who are in the overflow when you get healed and you need to come in just let the ushers or anyone know that you are coming to testify and I'll request that you come and stand at my left or my right there'll be a few pastors here who will examine you will take a few testimonies and then I will now begin to speak over other issues and will do the impartation tonight is your night in the name of Jesus you will not live here the way you came to the glory of the name of the Lord are we together now 
and for those who are watching by way of television you're watching by way of internet whether it's from europe america here in nigeria you can connect right there in your home or wherever the power of the holy spirit is present even to heal heal and deliver in this place heal and deliver in this place heal and deliver in this place have your way heal and deliver in this place heal and deliver in this place heal and deliver in this place no one jesus there is no one darling there is no one jesus there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing Lord you reign forever Lord you reign forever I worship you I worship you Lord you reign forever Lord you reign forever I worship you forever Lord you reign forever I worship you I worship you the Bible says when the evening was come they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed with devils you can stand connecting to someone I'm about to pray right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest you can stand for your children you can stand for your loved ones you can stand for a colleague in office go ahead lay your hands and I want to pray for you right now the 
shoulders and angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb upon the throne and on to you we lift our hands in praise you are the lamb You are Yahweh. 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 Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. Sing it one more time. Lift your hands, lift your voices. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Ah. You are Yahweh. Yahweh, you are Yahweh, healer, Omega. You are Yahweh, lifter, and Omega. You are Yahweh. Restorer and Omega, you are Yahweh. There's such a mighty presence of the Spirit of Grace right now. The healing anointing is moving from place to place, from person to person. His majesty is resting upon the lives and the bodies of God's people, bringing healing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, as I pray, I want you to shout a loud amen as you receive. My God, miracles are happening already. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of infirmity, I decree and declare by the sound that we raise, the sound of the name of Jesus, the sound that exalts Jesus, the crucified, who is now Lord and Christ. I declare that you leave the bodies of God's people now. Leave the bodies of God's people now. In the name of Jesus. I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes open right now. Whether partial blindness, complete blindness, be healed now. Bone conditions, be healed right now. Joint pains in the body, be healed right now. Everyone with any growth, my God, growth, growth, the Lord is healing growths right now. I command lungs to disappear. I command growths in the body, leave now. I just saw fire leave my hand and I know that it's melting and burning something that is in someone's body. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Migraine headaches be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. 
pain at the right side pain at the right side the lord is healing someone with it in the name of jesus christ pain at the right side i'm still saying it i'm feeling the pain as i'm talking to you now the power of god is coming upon that person right now ruach elohim ruach elohim ruach elohim we're still praying ruach elohim ruach elohim Ruach Elohim Fill this land There's someone you have severe pain Just back of your head The power of God is touching you right now In the name of Jesus Christ The power of God is touching you right now Right now even though i'm praying for the sick the lord is showing me someone almost every night you sleep you keep seeing dead people the power of god is coming upon you right now that covenant with the dead is broken because it has resulted to sickness you wake up from that infirmity and physically you start feeling sick in the name of jesus be delivered right now there's someone your left hand i don't know it's like you cannot lift it or there's pain and heaviness be healed right now just this side that i'm pointing with my hands the left side of someone's neck for whatever reason you've had severe pain and discomfort there the lord is healing you right now liver problems be healed now holes in the heart be closed supernaturally now genotype issues in the name of jesus we change your genotype now hiv be healed now cancers be healed now all blood related diseases be healed now there's someone your your feet your left your left um under now you feel like there's fire literally it's as if you are stepping your feet on fire this happens especially when you wake up in the morning the power of god is touching you right now i hope you believe in what god is doing here in the name of jesus be healed right now the lord is showing me someone you have i don't know if it's an allergy but you know what we call mums that that thing that that makes one side of your face protrude that is not your condition however you experience this once in a while and sometimes your eyes will swell you wake up and your whole face is swollen it will go down eventually but it still comes back again the power of god is healing you right now the power of god is healing you right now in the name of jesus christ and please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for someone now you have a urinary problem you can ease yourself so many times it can almost embarrass you if you don't run to the bathroom you can actually start easing yourself you know in the presence of people and sometimes it almost happens unconsciously this thing has embarrassed you you are here in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now you will know you are healed by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now be healed now be healed now hallelujah i'm seeing in my vision a lady who is walking and feeling dizzy and i'm wondering what is the cause of this dizziness and the lord is revealing to me that this lady is almost as if you have your circle two times in a month it's not a regular um, occurrence you've gone to the doctors and they've spoken to you about it and it can embarrass you because it comes anytime you are in this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know where that person is but I am praying for you right now the power of God is touching you right now whether I mention your case or not I decree and declare someone with pile someone with pile I'm seeing someone with painful pile. The Lord Jesus is healing you right now. 
the Lord Jesus is healing you right now there's someone you have a daughter this is what God is revealing to me the daughter is a teenager but they are already saying that they found lumps on her breast this is a young lady who is not even an adult yet and the Lord is speaking to me that he's healing that girl right now in the name of Jesus Christ now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed right now 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 from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet the Lord is showing me many people who are being healed of high blood pressure most times when God reveals this to me I start seeing a thermometer going up and down and I'm seeing it right now as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus I don't know who has suffered for some it is a pattern in the family it's like all the men especially are, are trying to manage high blood pressure in the name of Jesus I declare be healed now there is a family here your mother's leg is beginning to rot it's beginning to rot it's like the this is a situation they say she has matched you know how we say that she has matched something and and, and it's, it's a demonic thing some a projection on her leg and the leg is beginning to swell almost as if no no you don't that's the woman don't worry mama just stand where you are the power of God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus every demonic thing when I'm done praying you will check yourself now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed now the Lord is showing me in fact I'm seeing two people but particularly just using one person um, you woke up in the morning and you found out physically your hair was cut physically I'm not talking of a dream like it, your hair was scraped physically you saw it it was gone and from that time it's one sickness after the other in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you now be healed now be healed now now I want you to check yourself check yourself right now some even while you were under the anointing you found out that the power of God has come upon you wherever you are inside outside I want you to boldly make your way can we have a few pastors who is standing here let's have one pastor here God bless you and one pastor here so that you make your way now check yourself everybody the mama that could not do what she could do check yourself everyone check yourself you find out that there is a miracle right now my God people are already coming are you celebrating what God is doing check yourself right now and the moment you find out that you have been touched make your way to the front very quickly make your way to the front very quickly household of David is this how you celebrate the hand of God look what Jesus is doing look what Jesus is doing look what Jesus is doing let's celebrate them they are still coming check yourself mighty God that is the same way men will celebrate you that is the same way men will rejoice with you that is the same way doors will be open for you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God that is the same way you will experience liftings that is the same way the sound of joy the sound of rejoicing you will keep hearing it it will not be far from your tabernacle in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now i want you to be seated for a few minutes we'll take a few testimonies and when we whilst we take these testimonies we're going to have a two minute moment um we didn't have the privilege of writing our prayer request but you are going to be verbalizing your prayer request whilst you are seated and then when you stand up you know we'll pray together we'll join faith and pray and agree with god that everything that has mocked god in your life producing a negative sound 
in the name of Jesus that the Lord himself will sort your life in a way that will surprise you are we in agreement God bless you yes sir she's the woman you spoke about you called her kiss yes I saw her, her there yes so how, how long what happened to her mama his leg is paining him yes and for how long has it been ma six years to this time six years yes. who came with her who is her son or someone how long has she been in this condition my friend six years um more no than you don't have years. to give him the mic just just hold it Around, for him, sir. Uh, um, what happened what led to it i think um it's not it's not her narrator okay that's all right I, you've answered the question praise the lord mama can you walk now go ahead walk 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 look at this you can you can see this con walk in the name of jesus christ we declare perfection are you seeing what god is doing in mama's legs literally the thing was bent oh you can turn back ma you can turn back and rejoice let's encourage mama let's celebrate her in the name of jesus christ perfection for you you will not be grounded on a stretcher in jesus name we decree and declare supernatural perfection in jesus name yes please let's celebrate jesus go ahead um while we were yelling the name of jesus i I heard a pop in my left ear. Can we have ear. a bit of volume on that mic? Please help us sound people. I yes. heard a pop in my left ear. I've been having my hearing... A pop in your left ear? Yeah, it's been okay. deteriorating over the years. Okay. But today, it even sounds clearer than my right ear right now. Which one? The left your ear. left ear. Look at this. While we were shouting the name of Jesus, there was a pop. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you, my friend. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's celebrate him. Sir, he's the one who you said had a pain. A pain? My hand, my hand has been on the neck before you announced the person that Your hand was on the neck? Yes. Uh-huh. So as you said, there is a guy that has a pain. Yes. Like, so I moved my hand and I checked. Check yourself now. Gone. Any pain? Gone completely. You see, what is happening here right now is not just a healing. God is using, you see, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Are we together that means if he can heal a sick body he can heal a bank account if he can heal a sick body he can heal a condition healing is not just limited to bodies are we together go ahead yes sir both of them neck pain neck, neck pain, pain. Is gone. Yeah. both of them yeah. in the name of jesus healing and perfection for you by the power of the holy spirit yes please Ulcer pain, very serious ulcer pain. Ulcer pain. pain. Yes. For how long, my dear? It's when I never knew to last day that I took him. The thing now started paining me. Four days after, I lost the baby. So I now went to hospital. Oh, they told yeah. me that I have ulcer. So I usually feel that pain. There's this drug that I'm taking. I thought that it's healing it. But when you now mention ulcer, I hardly fall. I hardly fall. I've you never, hardly, I've never you... fallen down for the first time in my life. I used to okay, see myself as, fall under yeah, the as a strong person. So it, immediately, when you now mentioned the ulcer, the thing, I wasn't feeling the pain when I came. Immediately you mentioned that ulcer, the pain now did like as if it's a cramp, film. So and I heard it, the thing now, now, now told me, I fell down. Come. Have you had a baby since that time? Do you believe in Jesus? Come. Blessed is she that believes. The Bible says, For unto her there shall be a performance. My dear, I want to pray for you. Ah, this power of God, ba. Now, you look at someone like this. When she left her house, Pastor, coming to church, she believed that God was going to touch her. How she did not know. She just knew that the sound of mourning would change. You can imagine because of this demonic thing now, she's lost her baby. And now you're trusting God. When did this happen? Don't cry. June last year. And so it's one year after and nothing has happened. Please stand up. Congratulations. You have seen the glory of God. Congratulations, 
He has done it. Help me. And you will come back with a new song to sing. I'm prophesying to you. Congratulations. We're changing the sound. I stretch my hands. Place your hand on your stomach, my dear. In the name of Jesus, go and prepare for a baby boy. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Let it be so. Receive it right now. My dear, go back home and dance to this song that we sang. This song, ba, worship team, prepare. I think we're going to, this song just fired my spirit again. When it's time, look, those outside are even rejoicing more than those inside. Hallelujah. When we take a few testimonies and we're ready to answer the prayer request, the worship team, please, you will help me. That congratulations song, you must receive it as the sound you will leave this place with tonight. Congratulations means you have done well. Congratulations means the battle is over and you won. Are we together? Yes, sir. Um, praise the Lord, church. Okay, um, so um, I've been having this um, um, serious breast pain like for weeks now. I had the dream um, sometimes last month that I had um, a breast cancer in the dream. So waking up like few weeks, I started feeling pain. Yes, like and that same breast then. And what tonight, happened now? And tonight, like the pain is gone. is gone. The pain is gone. We, we stop I cancer. We time. rebuke that <laughs> devil. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I'm using her to pray for anyone here who the devil is threatening you with cancer. It will not happen in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We may not go oh there. There are so many people. Let's just hand pick a few, maybe three, four, and then um, so that we'll just rush. And then I, I really want the general prayer because that is where everybody gets to receive something. Yes, sir. So she has a musculoskeletal condition on this part of her body. Okay. And then she also had a pain on the neck. But she said. And then I was told to go and look for a musculoskeletal specialist, and we don't have any in Nigeria. When you were praying, I noticed that the pain in my left neck left, and then the musculoskeletal condition in my left Check shoulder yourself. also left. Gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Go ahead. Yes, please. For about nine years now, during my service days, I was sick. I fell at the time. Then I've been having this chronic back pain to my neck. The, there's still a very big, um, like a bone at the back there. So before the prayer started, even for the neck, I held it. I said, God, today, not today. Then I also removed my eyeglasses. I mean, in fact, I just collected my eyeglasses yesterday again. I removed it and I said, God, I must, I must, I must see clearly again. Immediately I said that prayer, I was feeling some watery stuff in my eyes. And I looked at that thing in the road. I was able to see clearly sound of trumpets. Ah. Congratulations, you have seen the glory of God. Congratulations. And you will come back with a new song to sing. God is good, oh. Congratulations. I'm not talking to him or I'm talking to you I'm talking to you that's how everybody will celebrate you you will come back with a new song of praise My friend, healing in your eyes, healing in your neck, in Jesus' name, it remains permanent. 
God bless you. Yes, please. Okay. For about 10 years now. For about 10 years. I feel nothing on this finger. I had a fan cut when I was in the university. So if I'm clapping, this finger will be shocking me. You don't feel anything? I don't feel anything, yeah. For how long? For more than 10 years now. Can you imagine that? Yeah. What happened to you? So, a fan, in fact, this guy is still... A there. fan caught you? Yeah, they say it has caught the vein, so it's not connecting here again. Oh, the vein so, does not connect? Yeah, so if I'm so clapping... So you, you are clapping and you don't shocking, feel anything? It's shocking me. It's shocking me. And what happened now? Right now, I feel... Ah... Look at this. That is how God is connecting you to your destiny helper. No matter how long. Connecting you to your helper. Connecting you to your lifter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? It looks like a very simple miracle. Ten years. You will come back with a new song of praise. You must come back with a new song of praise. That's right, that's the sound. Congratulations. Ah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've seen the glory of God. Congratulations, he has done it for you, and you will come back with a new song of praise. God is good, and you will come again with a new song to praise. God is good, oh. Congratulations. Can we take two more? Yes, go ahead. I hope you are prepared with your prayer request. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, is it not in your Bible, ladies and gentlemen? It said we were like them that dream, and our mouths were filled with laughter, and that even the heathens testified. He said the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. He says, whereof we are glad. Then he says, turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev. That they that sow in tears, the Bible says that they will return. Ah! So look at what is happening outside. That's yes, sir. Good evening, everyone. God bless you. So, um, coming to service this evening, I was having this pain at my lower abdomen. Yes. I started observing it this this year and by the time it got worse and I got to the hospital they told me it was ovarian cysts and at that point I had to do an operation and I said I didn't want to do operation and the doctor was like that's the only option I have at that point okay. so I went home, I told my dad and he was like I told him I don't want to have an operation, he's like okay it's fine we'll just pray about it and I kept going for checkup after so um the pain at the point when i kept going back yes um the doctor said i was like the, it kept reducing until at the point it was insignificant I, I didn't have to do the operation again but then later it came back because doctor told me that it's likely to come back so okay. it came back and coming to service and for a while i'll be observing it but i didn't want to go back to the hospital so i had the pain in service so as you said we should lay our hands on where um, we're having our pain so I laid my hand there and I seriously prayed that this time around like it will be gone and I won't have to it won't have to resurface again and I also have ulcer which I've had for like a very long time I'm not currently having the pain but I'm, I also believe God that completely in the name of Jesus your miracle is permanent my dear it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit my God what will happen is that since we may not have the time to take all of the testimonies but i would like to hear the testimony of that woman, that elderly woman is it possible this woman is she standing for testimony please verify for me just to honor her i think she's an elderly woman if she's been healed or something let, let let's let's just hear her testimony yes is it for healing did she stand for healing 
verify okay so let's just know what happened to you madam good evening church um, my health i'm not elderly i'm young oh I'm, my apologies <laughs> um, my health has really been um back and forth for a while and um be trusting god for so many things and i've had so many issues in the midst of it all i lost my elder brother so i broke down completely so after that i i've been very ill it would be back and forth but at a time my marriage was having so much challenge so it was just all compound of issues and when during the service today in part from tuesday i've not been out of the house this is the first time i'm coming out of the house for like a week now i just said i saw the program online i said i have to be here i managed to come so when pastor was ministering he said you woke up and you discover your head here was bald and i i, I remember that i woke up and i discovered my hair here were all gone i thought it was the trying to get pregnant the treatment and all other things that was getting to me then i said yes i remembered all oh, my hair here was born and i started anointing it for it to start growing back and immediately he said it i just raised my hand and said lord i must not go the same and from that moment fire came down from my head to the and all the all the pain the pains i've been having here everything is gone they are all gone jesus something special supernatural about your name Believers, let me tell you why we celebrate every manifestation of the hand of God. Every body on earth, the price for that person is the blood of Jesus. Are we together? Now, you look at this precious lady, this woman. Something happens, your hair that represents your glory is gone. And you start having problems, marriage, this, whatever. Everything just goes haywire and you come for a conference like this seated quietly and god locates you and that's it the power of jesus i'm praying for you not only for your body but respectfully speaking for your marriage and every other thing whatever has produced a negative sound from your life in the name of jesus we agree at the church of the lord jesus christ find rest find rest rest round about i'm prophesying it to hand that applies to everyone hearing me find rest in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you the lord bless you now for sake of time for everyone please when if for as long as you have come out it's important that you do well even if after the service to meet someone so you can write down um your testimony so that the man of God and the leadership can know that this is what the Lord did in this conference. But I pray for you in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Perfection, this miracle remains permanent in your life to the glory and the praise of Jesus. In Jesus name I pray. God bless you. Is it alright if we pray for two minutes now? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sing that song congratulations again. Even if it's just for one or two minutes after that listen to me we are going to shout halal yeshua what you know as hallelujah seven times it's going to be a loud prophetic shout the moment that happens you are going to begin to pray over your needs and your request we'll be releasing our faith with you here listen for as long and and by the integrity of the lord jesus christ the moment we begin to pray i want to assure you that every mountain every jericho that has surrounded your life it must drop down is someone ready now just for two minutes 
and then we're ready for hallelujah seven times go ahead congratulations you have seen let's stand everyone ah someone is about to testify joshua chapter 6 please give us verse 16 then we go to verse 20 we're about to shout seven times and it came to pass 6 16 joshua it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout for the lord has given you the city verse 20 so the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpet when did they shout when the priests blew the trumpet and it came to pass when the people had the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout the wall fell down so that the people went up into the city every man straight before him and they took the city listen this is not an ordinary shout you are not just shouting this is not a pentecostal gibberish the trumpets that you have now is the time to bring it out we are going to shout seven times prophetic times you don't have your trumpet don't worry you can shout hallelujah some are shouting hallelujah some are blasting the trumpet listen I want you to put your prayer request before you that which needs to change you are going to shout at it you are going to say hallelujah at it i will prompt you are we together together as a worship team will do it seven times and after that you will pray in one minute and i'll speak over you are you ready now father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that as we shout let every mountain let every jericho let every negative circumstance there are people with their prayer requests already lifting it up before the lord are you ready now number one say hallelujah, hallelujah hallelujah Number two. Number three. Number four. My goodness, I sense the anointing. Shaba lakatapatos. Kebra katekatos. Number five. Get ready now. At the seventh shout, you begin to blast in tongues and pray. Number six. Are you ready for number seven? Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be great plain. Number seven. 
every mountain you go down 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 go ahead and begin to pray lord i decree and declare it's a new sound coming from this family it's a new sound coming from this church it's a new sound coming from my office coming from my altar coming from my children is someone praying outside pray inside pray someone is praying don't be silent don't be silent now you are praying you are releasing your faith every oppression you come to an end in the name of jesus shame and reproach you come to an end by the power that raised christ from the dead pray for your ministry man of god it's time to rise producing a new sound pray for your business pray for your work with god pray for the program of god on earth someone is praying one minute we're praying pray for household of david it's a new season a new sound right from here to the nations of the earth through the airwaves hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready now? Now unto the one upon the throne. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. For his God alone. For he is God and God alone. One more time. Now unto the one upon the throne. We raise a sound. We raise a sound. Holy is God and God alone. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus, I speak to you prophetically. Welcome to a new season. I stand upon the grace of the man of God and his wife and I declare household of David welcome to a new season in the name of Jesus the sound of mourning the sound of shame the sound of languishing the sound of defeat the sound of discouragement comes to an end now we raise a new sound a sound of prosperity a sound of increase a sound of righteousness a sound of speed a sound of restoration a sound of laughter in the name of jesus christ